Echoes in the bullet cluster. Two galaxy clusters massive structures containing thousands of galaxies each approach one another over billions of years, locked in a slow, inevitable gravitational ballet. They are titans of the cosmos, each spanning millions of light years, carrying with them stars, gas, dark matter, and momentum. Then collision. But this is no explosive Hollywood moment. This is an intergalactic smash-up so vast that individual galaxies mostly pass through each other unscathed. The drama happens elsewhere in the invisible and the intangible. As the clusters intersect, the hot intergalactic gas, which makes up most of the ordinary matter, slams together, heats up, and glows fiercely in X-rays. The gas is slowed, compressed, and shocked. It's like fog crashing into foge, except it's tens of millions of degrees. Yet something odd happens, using gravitational lensing where the mass of an object bends the light of more distant galaxies astronomers map where the mass of the clusters truly lies. And they discover, the mass and the glowing gas have separated. The X-ray maps show one thing, the gravitational lensing shows another. The two do not overlap. The bulk of the gravitational mass has passed through the collision, unimpeded, unseen, untouched. It doesn't interact like gas does. It doesn't collide. It simply moves through, like ghosts walking through fire. This unseen matter is dark matter, revealed by its gravitational fingerprint. The bullet cluster becomes one of the most striking visual proofs that dark matter exists not just as a theory, but as a participant in the cosmic dance. Where visible light fades, where X-rays blaze, gravity speaks truth. And the echoes of the collision billions of years ago still whisper through space still bending light, still challenging our understanding of what the universe is truly made of.